Joining us right now is former U.S. Attorney General Michael Mukasey. Judge, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Good to be here. Your thoughts on this from what we know so far? Well, um, from what we know so far, um, it's, it does seem likely that it's terrorism. I heard this morning that there had been uh, infrared um, detection of, of heat. That is a, is a, is a major giveaway, uh, although yesterday I heard that there had been no uh, heat signature found. So the question is whether that, that report is accurate. Um, if it is accurate, then that indicates the likelihood of an explosion. Um, and that, of course, means that it's far more likely terrorism than not. Do you find it odd that no one has taken responsibility yet for this? I mean, yes. ordinarily, wouldn't you see Al-Qaeda or ISIS come out and say, yes, this well, is... You'd see, you'd see ISIS certainly take credit for it. I think um, Al-Qaeda has tended to be more, uh, more, more reluctant to do that. But in the current atmosphere, they've been competing with ISIS so that if it's an Al-Qaeda operation, I would think that it's more likely that they would step forward sooner. Um, so the fact that nobody has taken credit for it is really kind of like the dog that didn't bark. Yeah. Judge, can I just ask you, is there, um, what is the protocol or what protocol did you have when you were in that tremendous position before you actually say, yes, we have concluded this is terrorism? Do you need verification from one source, two sources, three sources? Because obviously oh, it's need, a tremendous proclamation. You need, a, you need um, I don't know that we had occasion to proclaim something terrorism or not, but you'd certainly, for decisions like that, um, you would need positive verification that there were explosive traces found, um, and that, and that, uh, as a result, you would, you would, you would say that it's that it's that it's terrorism. And under these circumstances, because it, that could take months. Not necessarily. Um, you get a couple of pieces of that uh, of that airplane, uh, and you find traces of, of explosives. Um, then you would you would easily say that it's, that it's and terrorism. And obviously, they want to although, find a black box. Yeah, although in the case of for example, remember Flight 800 that went off of uh, TWA 800? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> they did find traces of explosives, but they couldn't say that it was terrorism because that plane had been used for, ex for drills, for exercises to d where dogs would detect um, oh, explosives. Wow. And so yeah. they, they couldn't say that it was, that it was terrorism. Well, and they wound up concluding it may have been a, a spontaneous explosion in the fuel tank. Totally different here. Uh, Jerry, do you want to go? No, I'm, I'm just still puzzled, Judge, how, why there has been no claim of responsibility. We are, as I say, we're 36 hours away from the incident. You know, again, we talked about this earlier. If it was a terrorist attack, it required a certain amount of planning. By the looks of things, is unlikely probably just to have been, you can't really bring down an airliner with just somebody operating individually. So probably some sort of support, some financial support, whatever. Why, why, I mean, it's not unheard of, but it's pretty unusual to get this far after an event and not to have a claim of responsibility. It is unusual, and um, that's a, a good reason why people are hesitating to say definitely that it's terrorism. That, of course, along with the lack of, at this point, of physical evidence. So when, because for example, when that Russian airliner was brought down take, uh, after taking off from Sharm El Sheikh, you know, very quickly afterwards, uh, some, you know, I, I, Islamic State affiliate claimed right. responsibility. You just haven't, you just haven't seen it this time. Does that, mm. again, now that doesn't rule out terrorism, but does it perhaps point to something, you know, perhaps something we haven't seen uh, recently? we not People compared it with that, with the up, with that Egypt air crash. I think the the uh, the one that went down where the pilot committed suicide. Right. It was like a suicide right. um, mission. The, here, the pattern of the plane's maneuvers. Um, the sharp mm. uh, turn could possibly indicate a fight in the cockpit over the controls. Mm. Um, on the other hand, if there's a heat signature, that indicates an explosion. Mm. So, when uh, let's say it is a terrorist event <clears throat> attack, what do we do about it in, uh, from the United States perspective? Because we're dealing with, I, I look at these long line, these long TSA lines, and people are upset about the inconvenience, but I always worry about the security. Quite frankly, I just wonder where do we go from here. I think uh, we tighten up, we, we, learn, we learn what we can. Uh, if it turns out that something was put on the airplane uh, by somebody at one of these earlier stops, then it becomes very difficult, obviously, to, 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 uh, to solve the problem by screening people uh, who are getting on the airplane, uh, if the airplane itself has been compromised before. Hmm. And, and let's not forget, this plane had been in a lot of different places before... Uh, right, it was in Air, was it Eritrea. Um, was in Tunisia. I so, and then the speculation of people working at some of those airports. With um, the security is not nearly as tight as it is at Charles yeah. de Gaulle. All right, let me, let me switch gears and get your reaction to these news, Fox News polls that are just coming out. They're showing the top two concerns for voters are by far the economy and national security. When it comes to the candidates, the poll is also showing that voters trust Donald Trump 
more than Hillary Clinton to handle both of these issues. Judge, your reaction? Um, my reaction is that people are, people are very anxious, obviously. Um, and uh, the question of, of trust um, is, a, is, a, is a tough one, um, given his penchant for um, statements off the cuff that, I mean, just look at his reaction to the, to the, to the airplane. Yes, um, when he, he tweeted said, out. He tweeted, not only did he tweet it out, he followed up saying, I can tell you that it was blown out of the air. Um, when somebody says, I can tell you, um, he usually is trying to indicate that he's got some information. Um, he's not saying, I believe, he's saying, I can tell you. Well, unless you have a heat signature, um, at this stage, you can't tell me. And, and you're saying at this point where he is, people are listening to him, they're following him, he, he could be the president, he should... Dial it back a little deal, bit. Deal in fact. Because One, uh, in, that, in that position, you've, words, um, mm. words have meaning yeah. and words have consequences. Uh, what comes out of your mouth is not just your opinion. What comes out of your mouth is policy. And you need to be careful about that. Mm. One thing I did notice Hillary Clinton yesterday when she was talking in that interview that she did where she said that Trump wasn't qualified to be president, it. right? She did also say, talking about the decisions that you have to make as president, and she said, I was in that room and part of the decision to take down Osama bin Laden. And she made a point of bringing that up and, make, and attaching herself directly to that decision-making process. And I thought, okay, she's trying to, she's looking at, the, at that poll or looking at how people feel about her ability to fight terrorism. Wasn't, it, wasn't there speculation around that when it happened first that she was pushing them, she was pushing Obama to go take him down and Obama was resisting. I heard that. Yeah. Yeah. She also said that uh, that Trump has been a recruiter for for ISIS, which yes, is pure ru which is pure rubbish. Mm -hmm. um, there are only two there are only two things that recruit for so ISIS. She's doing the same thing. She's yes. just speaking in you know whatever. Um, there are two things that recruit for ISIS. One is a religion, and we have to face up to that. Um, and the second is success. Um, those are the two things that recruit. And. Um, there, are, there isn't somebody sitting there saying, gee, I think I'm going to go join ISIS because Donald Trump just said he wants to exclude Muslims from the United States. That's, that's ridiculous. Right. So she's doing the same thing as what you said. Yeah. Well, and, and, and it also goes to the, the issue of what you hear on the left and from liberals that uh, the United States somehow deserves what we get in terms of the terror inflicted on this nation. And that's pretty repugnant. So, Marie, just so we're clear, if the chief judge was still on the bench, he'd be holding <laughs> Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton in contempt for making <laughs> statements that they are not credible and are fraudulent. No. And are you going to give them a fine or are you going to put them in the cell? I what are you going to do, I judge? Wouldn't, I wouldn't do any of that unless they did it in the courtroom, in my presence, and it wasn't relevant to the case. <laughs> Michael, good to see you. Judge Michael Lucchese there.